Hello and good evening. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here with you tonight. I am deeply grateful for the chance to thank you in person for the scholarship you've awarded me. Four years ago, I was getting ready to begin my high school journey, and I was both excited and nervous. I was leaving a large public middle school in the middle of the COVID pandemic and deciding on which of our amazing local high schools to attend. At the time, the things that were most important to me were academics and athletics. Fast forward to now, and I guess some things never change because I'm still both excited and nervous, only thankfully we are not in the middle of a pandemic this time around. But once again, I've had to decide in what direction to take my life. And again, academics and athletics have played a large part in that decision. I really wanted to play volleyball and be on a cheerleading squad at my college. So I made plans during the fall of my senior year to attend the University of Health Sciences and Pharmacy in St. Louis, where I could move out but be close to home and participate in both these sports. It seemed perfect, and it was in so many ways. I loved the small campus located in the heart of the bustling medical community, Forest Park, the caring faculty, the creative mascot, and the cute purple and gold uniforms. And all my life, I thought I would attend a university that was near home because I'm really close to my family. But my heart had other plans, unbeknownst even to me for a long time. This spring, something told me to take a second trip to my other top choice college, the University of Notre Dame. I had visited once a while back with my dad, but my mom had stayed home with my brothers. Mom only went on college trips when I was really serious about a school, and since I originally didn't want to go to Notre Dame, she didn't try to make that trip, and you can see where this is going. <laughs> so this April, just a few months ago, my mom and I drove five hours alone to Notre Dame, and this time, things were really different for me. It was like coming home. I began to realize that I didn't want to be anywhere else, and despite having to go back and have some sad and difficult conversations, especially with the pharmacy college, I changed my mind and I'm excited to go to Notre Dame. I realized that the things that have always been important to me, the friends I've made, and my family here at home will stay constant, even if the next four years take me farther away than I thought. Once again, I'm listening to my heart. This time, it's taking me far away, but I have to trust that it will work out and do everything I can to make it work out. In college, I'll be majoring in biology with an emphasis on genetics, with minors in Spanish and theology. I hope to further my education with a master's in genetics or from medical school to become a pediatrician. I'm not sure which yet. First things first. <laughs> Even though I will not be able to participate on the D1 level of cheerleading and volleyball teams at Notre Dame, I will be active in intramurals and I'll be trying out for club volleyball and auditioning for the liturgical choir. This summer, I'm taking vocal lessons, volleyball lessons, playing sand volleyball, and doing gymnastic classes two to three times a week. I'm still continuing to put in the work to be prepared for any opportunities that may find me. <clears throat> Sunday school's out for the summer, which I've helped with as a high school student, but I'm babysitting, so I'm still getting work with little kids, which I love. I'm determined to do everything I can to make the next four years amazing. I know I'm going to grow. Hopefully the growing pains aren't too terrible. I am really ready to pursue all the opportunities that college has to offer. Everyone says it will fly by, and if that's true, then I will try to jam everything in. I don't want to miss any chance to learn more and become more. I hope to return home as a better and changed person, hopefully wiser and more experienced and ready to become a contributing citizen of our community. I thank you so much for helping me with this scholarship. I am deeply grateful, not just for the financial assistance, but also for the feeling of community and togetherness that has given me. It makes me more determined than ever to make everyone proud. And I want you both to, um, to be glad that you honor me with this. So I will try my best, not just for myself, but for you too. Thank you very much.